Have you ever wondered what makes investors pour millions of dollars into certain founders? Hi everyone, my name is David and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you the traits and qualities that investors look for in a great founder that they want to invest in. Raising money is extremely key to your business success because it will allow you to increase your resources and move faster. Therefore, becoming a fundable founder is extremely important in your entrepreneurship journey, whether that is you want to raise from external funds or bootstrap your business. Keep in mind that this video focuses on you, the founder. I will have another video coming out that will share insights on how to raise money for your business. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to support the channel. Let's get right into it. The first trait in a great founder is to have strong communication skills. Being able to communicate properly and express yourself in a clear and digestible manner goes a long way because you will constantly have to explain your company, objectives, and vision to your consumers, customers, co-founders, investors, and employees. This means more than just being eloquent. It means being able to deliver meaningful content in a way that resonates with those involved. Can you create a followership where people want to invest in you? People want to work for you, or quite simply, People want to be part of your company's journey. As a founder, you're constantly talking about your business and getting people excited about it. If you can't explain what your company does in less than a minute or in a matter of a few sentences to anyone of any level, whether that is a potential investor, a customer, a friend, a family member, then that's a huge red flag. This leads me into the selling piece. Being able to communicate well lays a groundwork for you to be able to sell your company vision to all the stakeholders that are involved. The stakeholders want to know what your company does and how it can add value to them. Clearly define and sell this to them. The second trait is that great founders can execute and get stuff done. You need to be able to set smart objectives for yourself where they are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time bound. Then go out there, do it, and learn something from it. You need to develop the consistent ability to be able to say what you want to do, do it, and learn something from that. It doesn't mean what you want to do is always correct or that you want to continue down a specific path for your business. It simply means that you always figure out a way to get things done. Startups need great execution more than great ideas because execution will test the idea, leave room for improvement, and lay the foundation for a great business. Don't be the founder that always says the right things about what they want to do or achieve, but then come back four weeks later with nothing in their hands. This stagnates your business and doesn't allow you to keep marching forward. The third trait is being relentless. My teacher, Rosa Sachu, founder, co-chair, and founding chairman of Next Canada, told us during the Next 36 program, entrepreneurship is the relentless pursuit of opportunity without regard to resources currently controlled. It's a state of mind that can give you the strength to achieve, survive, to overcome, to be strong in your weakest moments. Because as a founder, you will be constantly challenged and pushed to where you are uncomfortable. Relentless founders have a growth mindset, are self-aware, play to their strength, think big, and act big. They commit to daily actions in pursuit of their objectives while embracing their journey because the process is as significant as the goal. The final trait is having internal motivation that is not affected by external factors. Ask yourself why you're building a company. Are you solving a problem that you truly care about? And are you willing to grind and sacrifice the next five to 10 years of your life on this company? Dig deep and do a bit of soul searching inside you to understand where your motivation is. It could be several factors, and this varies between person to person. Investors want to see you can stay motivated and passionate in the face of defeat or failure, and that you don't get discouraged even if you make the wrong move three times in a row, because more likely than not, it will happen throughout your entire entrepreneurship journey. It's a journey where you will fail all the time, make bad decisions all the time, and have things go wrong. Building a startup is a roller coaster of ups and downs. That would truly test your mental fortitude and have you second guessing if you really want this. This is where your internal motivation will come in and take over and keep you moving forward. Now, those are four traits and qualities that investors look for in a formidable founder. Now, as always, if you've enjoyed this video and felt that it gave you a lot of value, please support the channel by subscribing and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. I will see you in the next one.